And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, that feels like we should have gotten in trouble at work. The way we were blaring. Blaring those things. I feel like I'm not hearing the show at all. There we are. We were blaring those computer speakers. What are you doing? Sweet shirt. Yeah, there it is. I tricked Lou. That's hilarious. You were making little noises. Yeah, I was going. To see if he realized your mic wasn't on. Yeah, well, I was doing the three card Monty. I was going, which one is it, Lou? Because I bend him around. It's a bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM ninety five. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson, and this sure is, is a lost tapes episode. Frankenstein from multiple days, uh, and then aired on Tuesday. It's Thursday. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Good reference, bro. Um... I'm excited. Yeah, we're, I said we pulled the curtain that we're doing. This is the first like thing here the next day. Yeah, usually we do it on Monday. We do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and it all turns into Thursday. But today we're doing Tuesday and Wednesday that's Thursday. We're ramming it right in your butt. So, right no, your so there's not going to be any amazing surprise guest who comes in yeah, between mid-show. the first commercial. Yeah, d- b- between breaks, no, we're not moving through space and time. Maybe by segment three, yes. something amazing could happen. Oh, man. I, it could be a different world. <laughs> it could be a completely different world. It's apocalyptic. It could be, we could be fighting for gasoline and water. Hand-to-hand combat. There is a strong chance that at some point during the show, we're going to have to go to a commercial break and then come Nuclear back. Nuclear war? Like, the world is a different... <laughs> Kim Jong-un the has o- attacked... The geography has changed of the air. Guam has been attacked. President Trump is returning fire with nuclear weapons. Dan Soder is smoking camel lights again. <laughs> Dude, if That's you don't what think... That's what sends you back? What are, the, what are the things that send you back to smoking? Nuclear war. That's it. Nuclear war. If they how fucking about nucle- launch... How about nuclear war? I can't say it right. You fucking white garbage. Nuclear. <laughs> nuclear. I would do it too. Nuclear? Nuclear. It's nuclear. Can you say nuclear? N-U-C-U-L-A-R? Is you that can made say up? it. Is that made up? <laughs> but that, that's not a word, yeah. But nuclear. Nuclear. Nuclear? Nuclear. Nuclear? <laughs> what is it? How do you say it? Man. Nu- nu- you know what this show nu- really Nuclear. Proves? Nuclear. 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 <laughs> There's, I don't know pie or cake. <laughs> I don't know. All that shit I talked about George W. Bush when he was in office, and I'm way dumber than him. This show should be called Teaching Dan about go, simple things. I, but I learn from you. <laughs> he goes, double belt buckle. <gasps> Big J, I learned how to tie my shoe. <laughs> Um, nuclear. 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 <laughs> There's mouth instructions. I'm a fucking yeah. idiot. Nuclear. Demo. Tell me nuclear. 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 Oh, you guys have a <laughs> nuclear weekend. Hey, are y'all ready for a nuclear weekend? This Thursday through Saturday. Come check out Sublime <laughs> Cover Band. It's going to be Santeria. Nuclear. It's lit. It's lit. It's going to be nuclear. The waves today are nuclear. Hey, everybody. It's Brody, <laughs> your surf instructor. <laughs> hey, if you guys are down to have a nuclear time. Um, I was excited to come in today. I, want, I was really excited to come in today. I want, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was all fucking excited. I was all fucking ramped up. I wanted to talk so much about... Uh, this whole week about Manson, you know, Marilyn Manson, Marilyn Manson, Fat Manson, Fat Manson. <laughs> That's our new song for him. <laughs> it's eighties, in, in, in the style of eighties uh, pop. Yeah, it's eighties guitar rock. It's Manson, Fat Manson. He went from skinny to fat. Now he's Fat Manson. <laughs> <laughs> he put on some LBs, Fat Manson. Put him in leather and he pops out, Fat Manson. <laughs> <laughs> Climbs on the stage. Now he's almost dead fat manson <laughs> when he cuts himself the grave he pulls out <laughs> fat manson i love that i could do this for the whole time <laughs> by the way said, <laughs> fat manson you gotta do the back and forth you have to do the addicted to love dance <laughs> fat manson Mighty that's love. look that's look the look of fat manson dude why is it fucking hot as shit in this room 72? Come on, dog. Change that right now. Let's get that bitch down to 65. 58! 58! Derek Derek Thomas, rest in peace! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Fat Manson! (laughs) Talking about Fat Manson! Doesn't do cardio, eats real bad! (laughs) A show that I would have been at had I not been out of town for work. 
Yeah, I mean, this is, ballroom. this is, can I just say before we get into this, this is the most bonfire topic of all time, mm-hmm. where it goes, because we know where it's going, but I'm it's saying crazy. at the start, with, with Marilyn Manson getting injured. The only thing that would be make hey. this any better is if somewhere in the background of a video, you could just see, uh, like, Josh Homme taking a piss or something. Yeah, where he's <laughs> pissing, he goes, did Manson just fall? He goes, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, dad, you're not going to crawl on the stage tonight, are you? Uh, okay, I just get real nervous because you've been eating a lot, and I just don't uh, know if like. Okay, promise me no matter what, you do not climb your own stage props. Uh, it's just no, it's because you know Kyle made them, and Kyle's not. A, he's just your dealer. They're just. Uh, you know, it's just an art exhibit, right? It's not like bolted down or anything. Uh, <laughs> Why was it not bolted down? It's such a great question. Why was it just not handled in some way? Where they like, you, know, you can climb. The thing is so clearly front heavy. So to explain what happened, Marilyn Manson during a show at Hammerstein Ballroom during the song "Sweet Dreams" decides, uh, "I'm feeling 22 years old again. I'm all ramped up," and goes. I'm going to climb this extremely front-heavy stage prop, which is... Uh, okay, well, real quick, though. It's two it's guns. It's so front-heavy. It's two guns back-to-back, and hold on real quick. Can I just say there is something... I hope Marilyn Manson's okay, but there's something incredibly hilarious about someone trying to be evil and then taking a shitter like that, <laughs> like where you're like, is it me, or do you want the devil inside of you? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> yes. He goes, I'm going to climb up here like a satanic Jesus. And, oh, God! Oh, God, is this thing going? It's just, ah! Ah! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Justin! Get it off! Justin! New York, come with me to hell. Oh, wow! <laughs> New York City. America's Satan is stands before you. Whoa, 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 whoa! Ah, 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 that's a hit. Oh, God, I'm not walking on that. City. I'm not putting any pressure on that. Oh, New York City, are you ready for your modern antichrist? What? <laughs> Right, I'd like watch. to thank you first and foremost, the stagehands who built these amazing. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Ah, ah! Do you like my double guns? <laughs> Blazed in hell by <laughs> Satan's hammer. Oh, well, dude, it's coming out. Trying to warn the guitar player. <laughs> Uh, let's play the video because he climbs it and oh jeez it Christine comes. by the way Christine by the way another one to have fun with that too Christine just wisely brought up uh, Madonna when she fell on stage when the cape got caught and like Love. that that is also a really funny she goes yeah all of my worshippers are you ready to dance? I'll take Christ on the cross. I'm going. I remember watching that. I remember watching that. She's like, all of you, all of you who have been hated on because you can't be gay. <laughs> yeah, we are all beautiful creatures of God. And if you don't like that, you can go straight to son of a bitch. I'm going to ask first. <laughs> yep, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going right down, right on my putter. <laughs> yeah, I like making it even more that she's talking. She goes, guys, do you think this, is this cape not pinned on right? God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, and also, okay, hold on, guys. Is this knotted in? Why say, hey, Mark, 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 Mark. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> am I crazy or am I attached to this cape? Like, I think when you pull it off, like, I'm going with it, right? <laughs> Son of a, got, yep, yep, yep. It's attached. Oh, oh. No, it just feels, it feels odd. Like, uh, I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> she goes, I'm okay. Oh, After she man. gets pulled, she goes, oh, boy. She goes, she goes like, I'm not 20 anymore. I'm going to feel that tomorrow. Uh, she goes, that's a stinger. That's just a stinger. But okay, anyway, this? come on, Vogue. Vogue, <laughs> striker, pose. Dietrich and DiMaggio. Yeah, all right, let's go back to Marilyn Manson. Yeah, Marilyn just Manson. eating shit with his double guns. Because where <laughs> this goes is even better. Oh, it's great. So Marilyn Manson, oh, at the Bonfire SXM, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, to see the video of Marilyn Manson uh, having his stage piece collapse on him, which are two handguns back to back. It's been all over Twitter, but we have a pretty good one we're putting out here, uh, from which is uh, HD, so, on, so check it out, yeah, at the Bonfire SXM. Go ahead and play it. So cool. Man. By the way, 
I've seen him a couple times recently, and this looks like they, by all accounts, this show he was killing it. That's why I probably think he felt like he was like a young kid again. Uh, someone doesn't. Oh boy! But man, isn't it funny? Isn't it crazy? Wait, come back! Is the ultimate sign that he's Fat Man? <laughs> yeah. He turns around. He turns around. Belly. You, it, but no, it's not that. It's when he turns around. You see, he's still. He's wearing a corset. He's like, just like over a T-shirt. Yeah, like, like a fat guy swimming. Oh, uh, dude, he's dressed. He's dressed like Keith the Tractor Trailer. I mean, yeah. He's got a T-shirt under his basketball jersey. I mean, come cool. Yeah, he goes, he had Robert Tractor. Yeah, trailer. remember, uh, remember um, Brian Reeves, Big Country. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, wearing yeah. a T-shirt. It's a T-shirt under yeah. his because like, like, you don't want to show like your weird pasty fucking body or the stretch mark part of your fucking armpit. Oh yeah, you don't want to show that. But wait, unless you're jacked. Yeah. Then you don't care to show any of that. You're like, yeah. sure, man. Well, why do you think those my body are, can't hold these muscles? Yeah, those are ripples in an ocean. <laughs> my, skin, my skin can't hold these fucking popping yeah. muscles. If you got but wait, pond- come back, go backwards a little bit, Christy. I just want you to see it in the light. But, I mean, he's wearing a corset over, you know, he looks like an over old, a long sleeve t-shirt. But when, Jay, when he turns to his side, he looks like an old butcher. Like, yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, an old yeah. Polish man that owns a fucking butcher shop. He's good meat. Uh, I cut the I cut the kibasa for you. Uh, the marbling is uh, top notch. You see my double guns, my son and artist. <laughs> watch me climb it. Die on that. My, yeah, my son Sergey built those. And watch me climb. It's two guns to represent. Oh my god! <laughs> Looks like he was having a great time in his fucking weird corset. High water pants. Yeah, the whole thing's all fucked up. Look at that. Look at those. Still a corset. It ties in the back. Here he goes. He goes, I can climb this. He's like, let me see. He goes, scaffolding, two guns, really front heavy. You know what, by the way? If he climbs the back of this thing. He's fine. He's probably fine. What an embarrassing thing to happen to Fat Manson. Oh, when you eat too much and you're not the devil, Fat Manson. <laughs> when you deal with the devil, didn't include weight control, Fat Manson. <laughs> when you love late night snacks and no cardio, Fat Manson. <laughs> Ah, uh, here it goes. I mean, he's pulling. He's asking for this to happen. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so he falls backwards. And right, he goes, and then he's got, and then tries he goes, to kick his, his goes, tootsies up to, goes, to right, knock it off. He goes turtle mode. He goes, yeah, right, he goes in full blown like eek. <laughs> turtle Manson. <laughs> turtle right, Fat he goes, Manson. He goes, it's come right here is the best because he goes, it, oh god, oh god, it's coming down. Oh, oh my god, man, it's so goddamn funny. It goes right for his ankle like an injured. Line. Linebacker. So then stage hands come out to pull it off. He goes, I'm not evil. I'm injured. <laughs> Stop yeah. touching me. Stop it. Uh, yeah. Hey, everyone. Satan's got a bad wheel. Got to <laughs> close this thing up ah, early. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Satan didn't know he's going to catch his wing in the door. <laughs> oh, God. It is. I don't think I broke anything, but some, I'm bruised up bad. The angel of death has been grounded, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this thing hurts. Marilyn, can you walk on it? <laughs> can you finish the show? Uh, Marilyn, I'm going to rotate your foot. You tell me when it hurts. Uh, okay, sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, sorry. Marilyn, hi. I, I don't mean to tell you this, but there is a difference between playing hurt and playing injured. You, now, either you're hurt or you're injured. You can't play injured. You can play hurt. Can you play? Uh, I just don't trust that with the insurance on this place. I think we're going to have to call the show. <laughs> What do they called it off due to an uh, injury? But I mean, what a funny thing they have to leave. I mean, it's goes, such. It's I mean, such by the way, f- you see him roll. He rolls over and grabs his ankle. Pretty good. You see that? Yeah, but there's nothing more embarrassing yeah. than falling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we could time that noise to that happening when he when he flips over and holds. <laughs> there it is. Flip over, hold right there. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little before one forty-five. You gotta play it right here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just with a split second when his head is up. Uh, <laughs> that's so goddamn funny. I mean, ori- I mean initially it- they were saying, like, I remember when it happened, and they were saying it was like a back injury, like it was really bad. I wonder how heavy that thing was. It doesn't look very heavy. I mean, they whip it right up. Like, three guys, it just... I guess it's pretty heavy, actually. You see, though, BC it moving, like, pretty dense. But his guitar play, I love how when they, uh, when they fucking fag out the... Uh, 
the musicians, God, like, like the evil musicians, like get him some help. And watch when he comes over. The guitarist what's, comes over. What's and, his and look, real? Every movie he makes is so like flamboyant. He like throws his pick. He's like, well, stop staying there and fucking call somebody. He's the reason you eat at night. <laughs> yeah, watch, go back, go back to when the what's guitar his, player what's first. What's Marilyn Manson's out. actual name? Right here, watch, watch the guitar player. You call someone. Uh, Get a fucking Marilyn. ambulance. You see the guy's Marilyn, fucking hurt. It's me. Marilyn, it's Get me. out of here. Marilyn. You're crazy. I'm not playing anymore. Uh, what's it? What's Marilyn Manson's real name? Brian Hugh Warner. <laughs> so he probably went. He went. Brian. <laughs> when it hit him. <laughs> Brian, no. <laughs> One of my favorite Manson things ever is when. Uh, when he went on, was on David Letterman and he said that he talked about his father's name being Hugh, yeah. Hugh Warner. And he goes, uh, yeah, he goes, you think that's bad? He goes, it's my middle name. And he goes, Marilyn Hugh Manson. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, saying like that made me laugh. So, <laughs> Marilyn Hugh. So there is now now a 45-year-old man in a corset over a T-shirt. Oh. Now it's to be helped up by a bunch of uh, guys named Gus who work for the local 84. They go, how you doing? Actually, I'm a Bon Jovi guy. <laughs> All right, let's get you a princess. <laughs> uh, you like this. Oh, look at you. You are, yeah, you, Lou, Lou too. Oh, you are squishy. What are you? You're like one of those bags of cookie dough, those Bill, Pillsbury Doughboy. I'll tell you something, the boss will be right back up playing songs. Hey, I'll tell you right, Springsteen, I seen him fall off the stage, get back up, he thanked the ground. But that's just the boss. All right, you ready to play saw, Cupcake? I saw Tyler fall off scaffolding, 1979, landed on his feet, finished the song, still holding the microphone. I swear to God, Aerosmith was on enough blow, they had the agility of cats. Uh, anyway, sweetheart, you want me to get some lipstick so you can go back on and sing your sad songs? <laughs> Huh? I'm also a Presbyterian. I find your act of uh, deplorable. <laughs> also, as a devout Presbyterian, I think everything you do is gross. <laughs> I think where's your gross. Satan now sitting here with your broken ankle? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, where's your devil beast? Is he going to solve your fucking... You're going to save your bad wheel? Get up, you pansy. Why are you wearing your sister's corset? Hey, Frunzo. Why hey. are you trying to drag your own leg off this guy? Hey, what do you stage? belong to a Jane Austen society? <laughs> Why are you in this corset? <laughs> hey, sense and sensibility. Let's get you up off the ground here. Hey, someone get a. We need a shovel over here to pick dangerous liaisons <laughs> off the floor. <laughs> hey, you guys. I think this hooker from the old west is injured. <laughs> <laughs> just riling around. Just Marilyn Manson's like, don't hey. touch me. Don't touch me. No, no, no. I wouldn't want to uh, touch the devil when he's hurting. All right. Fucking hilarious. Hey, Dr. Fankfurter over yeah. here. Needs a- <laughs> um, well, it didn't. I mean, when we when we heard about the Manson thing, we were going to we talked about it. But then it got even more bonfire. Oh, when yeah. It took a real turn for the bonfire. When the fell dog. Fell Got dog just it. chimes up, and, I, and someone sent this to us on. Uh, I'll give uh, a credit at some point where I'm able to check it out on who sent us this back and forth because we're blocked, so we can't read any tweets from Fell Dog. No idea. This bonfire is and all the Bonfire members and top counselors have all been. It's a patch. It's a patch here at the Bonfire for you to get blocked by the Fell Dog, but not by saying anything rude. Just no. If he just go, he 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 realizes your association. Yeah. It's not, cut by, you off. it's not by going out of your way to be a dick. It's just by being associated. If you start getting blocked by a, a Roman and Sierra, also now I kind of have to say that that's that's got whole has to hold some value to us. Also, yeah. oh, a Roman and Sierra block on Instagram. That's the highest. That's on like the a, gram. On the gram. That's a that's a level of black belt. And let me tell you something. Uh, Roman's not by try, harassing. Roman's trying. No, don't do not harass him. But Roman's trying to catch up to Sierra on the numbers on Instagram. Is he? I mean, he's got, he's nowhere near her. No. She's got nowhere millions. near. Yeah, and he's got like 50-some thousand, God, I think. Dude. Or no, 150-some thousand. But he's any, pretty good. But yeah, I mean, but like, the fell dog, we can't see any of his tweets. We can't see. And so, and Christine, have you uh, checked that this is a chronological order here yeah. that's going from top to bottom? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God, I love you, Lou. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so... The bonfire is not blocked on Instagram. From? For our, Sierra. Yeah. All yeah. right. I need that login in Really? That's so weird that we're follow blocked. Her. <laughs> you should follow her. And she's like, Roman, come in the room. Oh, my gosh. And they're still alive. <laughs> oh, look at the feng shui. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you him. did? Oh, I miss him. Oh, you did? 
So, uh, Marilyn Manson falls, and then on Twitter, we, the music, you can uh, read the article at musicmayhemmagazine.com. We're also going to tweet it out from at the Bonfire SXM. But Corey Feldman has taken to Twitter to slam Marilyn Manson after his on state injury, where a gun prop fell on top of Manson, crushing and trapping him under the prop. Well, that's not actually what happens when you see the video. Not what happens. But it does fall on him. He, he kicks his does. feet up. Uh, but it says the prop is said to have weighed hundreds of pounds. So, okay. Feldman so, yeah, I said it looked like it was pretty. It, when they picked it up, it was several guys doing it look pretty heavy. Can you see what Loudwire's tweet was? It's highlighted right there. Uh, Loudwire tweets out, breaking, at Marilyn Manson, crushed by stage prop at NYC show, gig canceled mid-set. <clears throat> so Corey Feldman responds to this long story if you are just catching up. Let's just say he brought it on himself. Hashtag publicity stunt. Publicity stunt. R, letter U, letter R. Uh, and then a uh, guy replies, did he fake the fall? And Feldog says, no, I think it was planned for attention since his album isn't selling what he expected. I mean, it he's just coming out well, talking also, shit. it didn't come out yet. The album's not out yet. <laughs> and then the someone replied, like, like you, Corey, but his new CD is fantastic. No, no, he's, and he's, oh. saying, he's saying, I, he's oh. saying, I like you, Corey, like, like you, Corey, but... His new CD is fantastic. Fair enough. I never said he wasn't talented. He's just a terrible human being. What do you think happened between Corey Feldman? Oh, there was a sex party, but with with skinny, long haired white dudes. There's got to be some digging. It does. You see why? You see why? Oh boy! Oh, well, in this article, they ask. Um, Tell us about the karma part. What happened? And Corey Feldman says, just read his book. If you want his version, countless times he's used my name to get publicity or maybe ask my former angel. Long hey. story. Former angel. Oh, now in the grasps of Marilyn Manson. Oh, do you think, Matt, let's take some guesses. Do you think he took an angel? He snagged one. He snagged one. He's like, why are you hanging out with this guy? Does he even read books? <laughs> or wait, let's, do, let's do the girl talking to Marilyn Manson. Let's do it she goes, so your house, I get to eat meat? Uh, okay. Do I have to walk around all the time looking stupid? Uh, You're not going to tell me I need to ascend a millennium. Uh, do you even have a favorite number? Uh, oh my god, I'll come Please take me, bite these handcuffs off me <laughs> um, Well, and then John Bender asks him Terrible human, please enlighten And Feldog says Might I add using Columbine tragedy for publicity? Hashtag cool dude I mean, it was That's, that's fucking foul That's, that's not low. true he didn't do that. I mean, everyone knows that he, he was blamed for Colorado. Dude, I'm from Colorado, and everyone knows Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold were inspired by Marilyn Manson to cross pattern shoot. Yeah, no, I've read no, the, but say, but that, but that's what fucked came, up his career. But that's what came his. No, it didn't fuck up his career at all. You fucked up his career, <laughs> yeah. bro. That's what came at him, though. I'm saying. Oh uh, no, like, I mean, Marilyn him, Manson got like, blamed for Columbine when he had nothing to do with it. Yeah, cause like because they, they liked yeah. Marilyn Manson's music. Yeah. Know, like, and they uh, and they blamed yeah his music and shit for. Is, is that how I describe your musical taste? You have school shooter taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, school shooter music. J loves uh, what kind of rock does J like? <laughs> J likes school music. shooter rock. <laughs> That's really we should be described what I look at. Uh, school shooter rock. Um, so he wrote. Um, and then Corey Feldman wrote, oh, wait, what's the one before it, Christine? Above Corey Feldman's... Uh, well, well, I'm just saying, though, for using it for publicity, he didn't... He, had yeah. the, he responded, and he responded wonderfully, and the, the only response I ever saw, essentially, was Bowling for Columbine. Yeah. Where he was approached. He didn't, like, audition yeah. for a fucking role in a documentary. And then Corey Feldman wrote, not being rude, look up the definition, henceforth, it, henceforth the letter Y, it's called a publicity stunt. Um... Atheist, you spelled that wrong. It's spelled satanic, Satanist. Satanist. And yes, he's very ill in the head. Ill Corey, in the head? Corey Feldman just fucking hates Marilyn Manson. He's fucking throwing some bombs here. Karma. And then once someone tweets uh, wait, at him. Der Derek writes. <laughs> Derek writes, Karma, said the washed up drug addict who can't make headlines unless he cries wolf about being raped in his teens or fucks up a live performance of a song that will never be a hit anyways. <laughs> Yo, Derek <laughs> coming Jesus, in with Derek. one of those samurai blades. Yeah, Derek just jumped right in. Well, I'll tell you. I'll say, one thing I know for sure about Derek, the only thing I know... He's a straight shooter? Uh, no, he is currently blocked by Corey. <laughs> like, uh, can this we look that up? So, this negativity will never show up again. That is ah, for sure. <laughs> I wish we could... 
Yeah, Derek's definitely blocked. Well, then Corey Feldman responds, wow, somebody got their feeling hurt wheel bad. Someone got their feelings hurt We What a dick. Saw we. <laughs> didn't mean to talk about your Lord and Savior that way. Oh, actually, I did. I'm the- Feldburn. Let's read that. <laughs> Feldburn. Yeah, you got to read that back. You got burned to the core. Hashtag, wow. No, but he goes, wow, somebody got their feelings hurt wheel bad. Saw we. Didn't mean to talk about your Lord and Savior that way. Oh, actually, I did. <laughs> wah, wah, ah, 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 you start doing robot dances ah, to a He goes, ah, oh, wait, let me read that again. He goes, hey, babe, can you queue up Ascension? I'm about to send off this fire-ass tweet. <laughs> wow, somebody got their feelings hurt wheel bad. Sorry, didn't mean to talk about your Lord and Savior that way. <laughs> oh, actually... <laughs> I did. Suck my dick. Uh, <laughs> oh, so another person, uh, Mama Kin writes. Really? Good. Fucking hell, man. Go, yo, Corey Feldman, devout Hindu here. Karma really doesn't work like that. Self-educate before you hate. Now in all capitals, Corey Feldman responds. <laughs> like a devout Hindu would be following or caring about Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I needed that laugh. I mean, <laughs> I needed it. whatever opportunity we give Fell Dog to crawl his way out and be a decent dude, he just keeps being a d- <laughs> LOL, LOL, LOL. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I needed that. I like that. He goes, he's like, He's being genuine. He's like, thanks, everybody. I really found a pretty low day. One of the angels. That laugh helped. One of the angels got out. I don't know. If she <laughs> <laughs> was, I think she's under the neighbor's house, but <laughs> I'm going to put out her favorite food. I hope she comes back. She likes chocolate. Sparkle. Puddles. 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 Formerly known as Ashley. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> so this this goes back pretty far, Corey Feldman's hatred for Marilyn Manson. Because really? this is an expert from um, his Marilyn Manson's book, and this article is from Spin Magazine 1998, and it shows what Manson said about Feldman back then. It is pretty harsh. What does he say? So this is like a long time coming, too. Oh, wow. I read the whole thing, but this paragraph right here was really like... Well, I want to, before I read that paragraph, <laughs> I just want to say I did see up there that he just describes him... Okay, so we'll a, read both paragraphs. It says... And I guess this is from Marilyn Manson's book. What book? Oh, um, it's a Long Haul Cold Red in Hell. It's I'm- ah! <laughs> Marilyn, what's the name of your book? Ah! He writes, Corey was in a pseudo Michael Jackson sort of outfit that made him look stupider than any of his movies that ever made him look. And that's hard to achieve, especially after Dream a Little Dream, part five, in parentheses. I felt like it was my duty to introduce Corey Feldman to Sherman Helmsley. (laughs) Sherman Helmsley, which is George Jefferson? Yeah, whence I had known their artwork for so long. In order to shake hands, they had to reach over the head of Billy Corrigan, so his bald head became the bridge over which two heroes of my childhood, Mr. Mr. Jefferson and Dorky the Vampire Slayer I, I still don't, met. I'm not understanding why we have Dan put on his glasses and read so far. I feel terrible every time we do it. I'm like, I can see it far. No. I'll do the second. Oh, paragraph. wow. Look at that. You can I'll really see it. I continued to torment Corey afterwards, putting lipstick on him and introducing him to strangers because it is my duty to punch below the belt. I told him I was a big fan of that rap song that I saw him perform on television, which was among the shittiest songs ever recorded, yet still not cool enough by far to be the worst thing I have ever heard. Oh. When the movie started, Jenna Jameson kept making comments like, well, well, what are we going to do later? Are we going out to a bar? Are we going to hang out? You know, I... Uh, this is all just going into Jenna Jameson. Well, okay, the paragraph it's, it's is really like... So it's the really thing about him really taking a hot shit on Corey Feldman uh, and his music and his recorded music. But he said it was far to be the worst thing he's ever heard. He said it wasn't cool enough to be the worst thing he ever heard. Oh, that's true. <laughs> he says, uh, which was among the shittiest songs ever recorded, yet still not cool enough by far to be the worst thing I'd ever heard. Just non-memorable. It's just an saying. extra insult. Well, I mean, he's nailing it. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, but I like that he puts this. Uh, How great would it be? If I like. Get- but I like writing this after you've already put lipstick on him and introduced him to people. Yeah, I mean, what a that's like a prison move. Where you're like, this is my bitch. You got you got lipstick on him. Kiss him. Kiss him, <laughs> Kiss my pretty boy. Kiss, Kiss my, my pretty pre- boy. It's my pretty boy. Kiss him. <laughs> but I, uh, Kiss him. It would be a real bonfire achievement to have Marilyn Manson on the show and to go through all of Ascension Millennium the, <laughs> track by track to have Marilyn Manson's music, <laughs> musician, you know. I mean, I know it's like kind of mean, but. What is a, is there a thing we can look up? It's like funny. Uh, him, right? with, him with the angel? Is it funny? Oh, Marilyn Manson and Corey's angel? What is, is there a way to do, find out what do that Do some story digging, is? if you can, Christine, because he took one of his angels. That's he goes, for sure. just ask my former angel. Which former angel, Corey? We can't know because you blocked us. Former Corey Angel and Manson. New Fat Manson. Manson's of my angel. Fat Manson <laughs> takes your women. Fat like pies off a shelf. Fat Manson. <laughs> I got an angel and Fat Manson took her to Fat Manson took her to Um <laughs> I, I raised her from a kid. I fed her every day. <laughs> I love Fat Manson came and took my angel to This is It's just great that these two things have intertwined and we didn't even know about it. I should have I read that book so long ago, but I wish it would have reminded me. But he's like, it's not the first time he's before publicity. I don't know if Corey Feldman gets you much publicity. He Does did he? Say, doesn't he say at one point that he did like him in Stand By Me? Yeah, he says he calls him a hero of his childhood. Manson seems to be talking about Feldman the same way you guys do. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, like, loves, what the hell loves, is he loves doing him now? and what yeah. the hell's wrong with him. I mean, I feel like that's what he is to a lot of people. Because he was like the cool kid. He was mouth. He was like, you know. Yeah, nostalgia wise. No, he had a run where he could have done. That's what. That's all about bowing out gracefully. That's that whole like, all right, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys. And then you see him at the grocery store and you go, dude, I loved you, Lost Boys. And you take a picture and then you show up in a fucking insurance commercial where you're playing that old role. But if Ralph you, Macchio, that shit, man. But if he really got his butthole licked by a bunch of like Hollywood Jews when he was a kid, he may have just spaced out super early. Because the thing is, he just. <laughs> they just stopped taking him what seriously. What a description, though. <laughs> Getting your butthole licked by Hollywood Jews? That should, that's going to be... What childhood? That's going to be the title of my autobiography no matter what happens in my life. Yeah, that's, that also sounds like something you yell at your daughter as she leaves your house to move to L.A. <laughs> Don't get your butthole licked by a bunch of Hollywood Jews. Yeah. Well, when you or come do. back here after you've had your butthole licked by a bunch of Hollywood Jews. <laughs> Don't just show up here for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I uh, I love that there's a there's an intertwined beef. Oh, yeah. No, that's... uh. Seems to have been going on for years. He's been looking for. I feel like Feld Dog's been waiting for a moment to be able to prance on us. She, do you think he was in his office and one of the angels came in? And she went, Corey, it happened. <laughs> Marilyn Manson was injured. It per- was perfecto. Oh. I knew if I paid that roadie enough, he wouldn't bolt down the stage prop. He's just standing at a giant board, music board, and he's just quiet with his hood on. It, has it happened? It has. Perfect. <laughs> you know, you could tell Manson's new fat too, is because. Uh, Try to climb something. Just if they put that thing up there, I'd say to my to me, I go, I go could this thing support me if I climb? I'd ask all those questions. Yeah. First. Yeah. <laughs> well, you come in with like a background in being big. So you're I like, told you the thing about uh, you go, I'm Universal, not Universal Studios. Where you're yeah, thinking, you're yeah like, fourth like, row, hey, family. Four, yeah, fourth row. I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna go like four. I'd, I'd rather just be in the fourth row. Yeah. If there's more space, I'd rather have the extra space than than be cramming into the one I, I barely fit in. Yeah, you're right. And Marilyn Manson's coming from being a life of skinny and weird. I mean, go down those pictures from Spin Magazine as they were coming through. I mean, like, he was great rock star he's got bonk, body, man. He's got bonk body. Bonk gang body. Yeah, and then he just fucking... And just porked up, man. How do you not feel it happen? He was like, uh, I mean, look at that. I know, it's just a weird, like... I don't know, man. I, I, I never went from, like... Th- I was never thin in my entire life, so I don't know that feeling of going to, like... You're completely flat in the front of your body. Yeah. And then be not. I just, yeah. <laughs> I've never experienced the other direction. I mean, I've always been tall and gangly, and I will say it's just like the seams popping off. You feel it the older you get, where you're like, no, that didn't. That used to be up here. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Like, where you're like, your stomach, you're like, I remember in my like mid 20s to late 20s where my stomach started like, you know, folding up or whatever, and you start <laughs> getting like, you know, like fat or whatever. Sure. And you're like, oh man, it used to just go right down. <laughs> and now it's You like, were always thin. I was always I was tall and lanky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was lanky more than anything. But I mean like Manson I mean So what he's going through right now, I kinda get it. Because you're like when I was dating at the By end the way, of Danny you- when when I when I when I broke up with the ex 
from LA when we, by the end of the relationship, like at Bonnaroo with you guys, I was like pretty big. I was like 230. Like, really? Yeah. And then because I lost a bunch Six of weight. Four? Yeah. I lost a bunch of weight when I broke up with her because I started like eating and exercising right. I got, you know, single skinny. And, uh, <laughs> and it was like, oh shit. And I look at old pictures. I had Vecchione take a picture of me with my shirt off and I was like, yeesh. <laughs> like right as the breakup happened, because I was just eating a bags. Of, I was eating a bag of Tate's cookies a night with milk, just like, <laughs> and I'm like, we got my 32 year old body at the time, 31 or 32, and it's just like, <laughs> and just turned it out. Oh, we had some we had a couple of Tate's cookies last night. Oh, they're so good. Yeah. By the way, yeah. I don't even make that noise. Yeah. Axel Rose nailing these things, man. The, the fattening up, like it's got to be so hard to process, man. Well, you don't realize. Look it. how bad he he's got to wear. Axel really does have to wear like the hat and the glasses is the thing the whole concert because that's where I mean I mean he looks like his name's Barb yeah Barb <laughs> like get right. in it she does he does look like a rough <laughs> South Dakota 42 <laughs> yeah like a, she goes they're my goddamn kids I'll break yes I'll keep goes, them out of your yard uh, Edna, wow. but don't fucking come over here knocking on my goddamn trailer door she goes, a.m. she goes like this long and short of it the young one got in my pills uh, <laughs> so I don't know <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do but he is his jaw is clamped down like a fucking nurse shark <laughs> <laughs> if you guys, start. if you guys want, I got a little bit of Subway left over from the other one's birthday party. On oh, uh, it looks like his house just smells like oh, fucking like cats wet, and cigarettes, wet carpet. Yeah, um, Christine, you guys want to watch the Vikings? They're on at one. <laughs> Christine, and, and by the way, this is this is a twenty five year swing. We'll say right. Uh, look and just. On the left, Christine, like, would you? I don't know if that's really your type of guy, but would you say he's like a good-looking guy? You know what I mean? Like, sexy aw- as hell. He's awesome rock star. He's sexy as hell, right? Mm-hmm. And then to the right, it's just like it's it's ghastly looking. Oh, dude, it's out. Of, that's out of. And that's by the way, that's out the of most pres- out of shape. That's that's like he's better than that now, but it ain't a ton better than that. Now. That's out of prison shape. That's just he got out, and you're like, hey, how long are you in for? He's like, I'm different now. If you saw the guy on the left, and you're like, he went away for vehicular manslaughter and came out on the right, you're like, that looks right. <laughs> you've, been, yeah. you've been eating fucking county food. It's been a long run. Yeah, not working out. Oh, yeah. But young Axl Rose was great. I tell you, man, even though he made it into his 40s, uh, Scott Weiland, man. I mean, held it together. Chris God Cornell. Bless, God bless drugs, huh? Chris Cornell. <laughs> Choke jerk takes a lot of strength. Oh, I know, and no matter how skinny he stayed, he still couldn't wasn't light enough to float up from that belt hanging. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, we gotta take a break. All right, let's take our break. Is it, are we just taking one break, or are we taking two breaks? We're just one. One well, now. All right, don't All right. yell at me. I guess we'll come back as bonfire. All right, fine. Bonfire. Fuck. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey, everybody, it's the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM95. Tom Petty, dead, officially, finally. I mean, finally we got word. And finally Tell me, dude, this is all choke jerk. <laughs> it does not appear to be choke jerk, this one. Uh, seemed to be more heart attack, correct? The pedophilia. And pedophilia. Uh, heart attack via pedophilia. Uh, I don't know if that's the real story, but we'll go with it. Their tiny hands inspired. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're all over. Uh, rest in peace, Tom Petty. He's awesome. We're going to be playing. I mean, you'll know at this point. We've been playing Tom Petty all week. Yeah, it's Tom Petty week. It's Tom Petty week. You got to give the guys respect. Dude, put he in was fucking always time, a, bro. He was never uh, like the top of the heap of like that genre. You know, he's always. Do you know what I mean? He always thought it kind of made second tier. He was, he was I, forgettable at the same time. Uh, every, every fucking song a hit. You know it. It's one of those guys just, I think he was. He, he was wasn't so prolific. Like, he was just there always. He wasn't necessarily ever the f- most famous person in the world, but he was always famous, and he was yeah. always really good. He's like a. He's like a. I'll tell you what. He never went away. He never got to become. But he's a glaring like example that. of what you should try to be, which is like every interview he has. He's like, man, I'm just happy I get to play music. I'm just lucky I get to play music, and he just threw himself into the music, and it's it's good. That's why it's all good. That's why it's all. But hits. it's kind of the same thing that happened with Prince. Like Prince yeah. just kept going. Yeah. And making music and albums would come, but you stopped giving a shit. You took it so for granted because you're like, it's Prince. Like the old stuff's always there. Yeah. Then if you, I ever see him in concert, motherfucker, better do the old stuff. Yeah. And uh, whatever. And you kind of better do running down a drain, Petty. And the same when they come back, but you realize like Tom Petty, like 
Everything's he didn't have a lot of like later in life like busts at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, and I, and I heard I never saw him in concert. Regretfully, now uh, Christine uh, heard him from a parking lot out of a concert. Didn't go in even though she had a ticket because she didn't want to leave behind some dork she was fucking for a week. Come on, Christine. You missed a legend. <laughs> it was the worst. But I did listen outside the Hollywood Bowl. I tried to hop the fence and the security guard was like, do you want to steal from Mr. Petty? Uh-huh. That was the response I got. And you're like, I guess you I'll go, just suck off this dude in the parking lot again. You go, no. <laughs> I'll go back to my boyfriend in the parking lot. <laughs> so gross. Yeah. Oh, and that guy, where's that guy now? Who cares? I, I missed the, Petty. I hope he's in the ground with Tom Petty. Two weeks later, he got back with his... I'll tell you exactly what happened. He got back with his girlfriend. Oh, Christine. Christine would do circles around his house, being oh, his car. It's I his car. moved to New York. I'm fine. Oh. That's what great, a piece though. of shit. That's what you miss Tom Petty for. Oh. It's always it's always crazy what you miss concerts for. Dude, what kind of... Con- like, uh, seeing him... Re- if I was like, okay, late, bye. I'm going to go to this concert and just leave you in the parking lot because we couldn't get you a ticket. So at the time, I was trying to be a good chick. And like, what? I wish I had just been an asshole. Yeah. That's oftentimes how you feel when you look back. You're like, I, if I was just an asshole, I would have enjoyed myself a lot more. Yep. I feel that way about a lot of things. Amusement rides, swimming, you know? Yeah. I could always be an asshole, toss people out of the way. I don't. For swimming? Yeah. Dunk, <laughs> dunk kids. <laughs> Beat it, motherfucker. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that, but never done it. Fuck off. But look at, this, look at this list of songs, man. I mean, I mean yeah. Jesus. We have many of these we've played this week. Uh, Even the Losers from Damn the Torpedoes. I mean, that's probably the best album. Damn the Torpedoes. People love Damn the Torpedoes. Um, Full Moon Fever is a pretty great album, though. You're pretty great. Um, we brought up Roman and Sierra earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But this is a thing this one, about... We've been juiced about this subject. Yeah, because it's, it's interesting because we're all fans. Most uh, men... Uh, horny men are fans of Instagram hoes. No, uh, not not me. Not you. I'm a horny man, though. Lou, Lou 2 and I, and Lou 1, Lou, the Lou's and I, Jacob. I'm on board. <laughs> Did Sierra get you into it? Yeah, you got to find, there's certain girls that are just so hot. Like, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage, <laughs> where I feel like in this room. Everyone's yeah. like, isn't it great to look at girls in bikinis? And I'm like, if that girl was also shoving like an entire... Like salami up our ass. I mean, but this something. is weird. This is the waste of salted meats. <laughs> you can keep I, it wrapped. I don't, want, I don't want her getting an infection. Keep it wrapped. Although those plastic seams are going to hurt your oh bee. Oh, my God. They're going to hurt your bee. If for she's sure. not lubed up. <laughs> I mean, she, lube up? She ain't wetter than a swamp. She's going to tear. <laughs> um,. But yeah, I mean, we're all, you know, for the vanilla boys in the room, vanilla boys. <laughs> that's my that's my new dance You group. guys know how much we all love looking at girls in bikinis and masturbating to it. Yeah. We got you outnumbered, Okerson. Yeah, we're the beer ad boys. If I, you're even, hot enough to be in a beer ad, we can spank it to you. And it might be the reason me and Christine are together, because I think she also doesn't understand it either, jerking off to girls in bikinis. Or maybe she does. Yeah. Too vanilla, right? All right. Well, I don't like her agreeing with you like a child soldier. She's like, oh. She really did. She goes, Jay says, we hate vanilla. We yeah. hate vanilla. As uh, whatever he says, we call it. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, you know, vanilla's fun. It's good on Instagram. That, the vanilla makes me more, like as a chick, it makes me more upset than like worked up. Why? I don't make you upset. Because like, I'm like, I want to look like that. I'll oh. never look like that. But I'm Damn, when about, are you going to do... Like, I want to be, in, like, be an Instagram <laughs> hoe. I don't have the body. <laughs> what are you going to smack your dick to? Paige Renee. What? What are you going to smack your dick to if you're going to leave social media? <laughs> what was that? I, I, don't, I don't know if I've thought that far ahead. You're just never going to jerk off again. You're, no, you're cutting out jerk, two things. Well, He's jerk start off watching again. World Star Honeys. Yeah, World Star Honeys. <laughs> oh, we got to watch that Sex Island preview. Can we watch that? Oh, yeah. Okay, but let's go through this first. Oh, yeah. Because I always... When well, I look, probably have already gone through the Sex Island preview this week. You think so? Oh, no. That's right. We have a whole other day of this. Yeah. yeah. Sex line. We'll get to it. Time and space, bro. Absolutely. It. Um, Buck Ro- <laughs> Buck, fucking Buck Rogers. But yeah, what's that uh, Paige? She's the golfer. She's one of my favorites. Spearneck. Paige Spearneck. <laughs> yeah. You've lost, you've lost Batch to pictures of her. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I don't think I've like, lo- I haven't like, I've like looked at it and been inspired to jerk off. And then you just jerk off to your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. She's Fantasy. Hot. She's hot. Fantastic. What does that mean? She has bangs now. Look at her butt. Let me see. Let me see a picture of her butt. Sure, look at her butt. Great. 
Yeah. Now what? It's great ass. Now I'll jerk off to it. No. Now I'll jerk off to the thought of fuck, Now you go keyword search amazing ass in a porn site. But Look how this works. Let me show you how the process is. But works. why can't it work Christine, my way? Christine, welcome to this. Look. Paige Spearneck, okay? Look. So hot. Man, her and her her boyfriend, her fiance is like this like former minor league baseball player where you're like There you go. Someone's already figured yeah. this out. Let me go through this with what? you. What? There's a porn star look alike? Uh ba ba ba. Let's see. Let me look at Paige Spearneck. Uh these are not good responses. But here you're doing you're making it even Oh, someone figured it out. And there we go. There you go, Dan. There he is. Cat, what's her name? Cagney Lynn Carter. Looks like Paige Spearneck getting fucked. And you can watch her having a black cock jizz in her face. <laughs> fingers in her butt. She uh, she really. can, she can she fuck. what? She doesn't really look like Thank her. you. Yes, Christine. she does, actually, Christine. And the fact that she is a big-titted blonde... Uh, with a great ass, and she's getting all fucked ma- 15 different ways. All male porn stars always look the same. They're like, hey, what's up? You want to just fuck? And they come, they go, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Is there, is there a compilation of men coming sounds? No, I mean, I don't really know if I want to listen to that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be the... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but you look, can you out? do that with any girl? <laughs> can you do that look-alike thing? Because it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh that's right. There's also the nude leaks of her. Well, there you go. Good job, lady. And if you were doing that, and then look, you can go. I guess you can go look. You can see her actual titty. But I mean, of course, that Cagney and Carter girl looks just like her. So hot. Uh, exactly. She's super hot. Look at these great pictures. And then right below is a girl getting squirted in the eye with jism. That's, uh, that's the... Yeah, the girl from uh, WWE. WWE. Yeah. I don't know who they are that much, so... I'm sorry. But I'm saying, back to the point, the original point, which is a lot of these girls on Instagram have all these pictures where it's just them by themselves, and I've always... Thought who's that, taking this amazing who's taking, picture? Yeah, who's why? Like, how are they nailing this picture? It's not a photo shoot. It's a, it, it's a candid shot. It's a candid shot, and it's like when the girl's like laughing, grabbing her chest, where she's like, ah, ha, ha, like in front of the sun. I've seen it a bunch. Hell, I got an I got a couple exes that are guilty of it. Yeah, oh, God, your ex is guilty. Merc, she just did one. Merc face is in the she room. Just did one. She just did one. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, laughing with the sun behind her. Please show me the pic because I want to see where it's like. Ah, are you caught me enjoying sunbeams? Oh, why am I laughing like this? <laughs> yeah, like someone took that. Right? Let me see. Oh, Lord. What's oh, she doing? Why is she doing that? I don't know. That's a bad idea. He just eat it. I like if Merkface is eating chocolate and he's going, I don't know. I don't know. He's watched do it so I can slap off to it at home. She's just taunting me like I'm I like in a cage. Merc face in the room. She, she a piece of steak and I'm just trying to run through the cage. <laughs> get I'm um, but uh, the question becomes, who are these fucking people taking the pictures? And I knew immediately in my soul, I'm like, it has to be the boyfriend. The boyfriend is, that's the boyfriend duty. Is to take a picture Could of the, have been the gay friend. Could it be the gay friend? If they're single, it's the gay friend. Well, someone started uh, shaming the boyfriends of Instagram. It's a page which shows hilarious photos of boyfriends going to ridiculous lengths to capture. Hold on, go up top. The perfect shot of their girlfriend. Oh, my From God. From standing on the edge of the hot tub to crouching or even lying down, these boyfriends are the real masters behind the money shots. So, we're going to tweet it out at the bonfire, SXM, <laughs> and it's from boardpanda.com. But number one is a guy taking a picture of girls in a hot tub where they're all cheersing from the top. And yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh. This really, I mean, by the way, he's like the only guy really there. There's another guy. The other one is there's a handsome. One, but, it's just, but here's the thing. There's like seven chicks at least. No, it's like eight. Oh. It's eight girls and and these two dudes, and I'm telling you... The squawking to get him to do that. Kyle, do it! Kyle, take out the picture! Historically, they would say that's the ratio you're looking for. Oh, man, it's going to be a bunch of girls, but it really... The ratio is a, is a is a 
That's like a miseducation thing. It really is. You got to go even the odds. You got to go even. You got to go even. It's like football. You got to put 11 on the field to take out their 11. Exactly true. You got 10 on the field. You're just playing at a disadvantage. Hey, me and you want to go hang out with eight girls. You're like, what the fucking nightmare is that going to be? Before you know, we're on the edge of a hot tub taking pictures of eight girls. We're like, thanks, friend. Oh, my God. That's great. Oh, look who just liked it. The guy that I like. And you're like, Oh my God! I was just She's just going through it with her boyfriend right now. You're like, Maybe I'll move it on her. And then friend's like, "Don't hawk on my girlfriend who's going through it." The worst hurting. Are you single? Yeah, I'm single. So what's up? I'm a bitch sometimes when I want to be. <laughs> yeah, but not, these guys he's going back, just ping ponging back yeah. between all those fucking and, noises. And oh they, my God, I'm so fat. And then they leave with like fucking hot girl PTSD, where they're just like, "What happened in there? I'm ringing and I can't sleep." He goes, "Did I even?" Did I even try to fuck one of those chicks? What the fuck happened back there? I, I think I follow one of them on Twitter now. <laughs> and I you see my ass almost fall into my dress shorts. Oh, my God. I was wearing tiny khaki shorts. <laughs> Let's go to the second picture. Um, oh, boy. Oh, oh that God. one hurts. It's a man leaning back as he takes the picture of the girl running forward holding hands with him. It's like you're taking your girlfriend's Tinder picture for yeah. her. You go, it's oh. the picture she's going to try to fuck somebody else with. <laughs> Oh, dude, that one's great. Where is the girlfriend? <gasps> oh, crouch down, giving a peace sign. Oh, he's got to film it from up. He's got to shoot up on it. Ew. Oh, that's so tough. Number four, holding the purse oh, and taking the my picture. My fucking God, this guy's trying to get laid. Oh, man, if you don't get your butt sucked, you are going way Wait, under. Go back. What's that in his pocket? Is that dental dams? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think it's like, yeah. Oh, this guy's ready to get just housed by a wave. So all these are at the at boyfriends of Instagram, and it really is. This one's a guy crouching down while a girl leans on a fence with a hat on, oh, and he's crouched down taking a picture. A black swims by. Everything here is not This natural. is a tan person, dude. That one's the best. You're right. That's a Tinder picture. This guy, this lady's on her back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's showing. He goes, oh, look. Look at that. What's that called? The bridge? Yeah. Look how she bridges on those hip bones, yo. Oh, man. You could you're almost t- see her muff if she had one. Dude, oh, this is my girlfriend. Yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah, look yeah, at yeah. her. Oh, God. Oh, girl doing a fucking, I'm holding the, the world tra- the freedom tower. And her boyfriend laying on the pavement. I hope a homeless man shit on that pavement. By the way, he's laying on the pavement taking the picture up of her so she can do the... I'm holding I'm it. I'm holding the uh, thing. Oof. And as he's got, not only is he laying on the ground, he's got to keep going. All right, babe, no. So left. Because he has to direct her. He's the one who's yeah, seeing if it looks like she's holding it. A little bit to the left. Open your, I can't open my fucking hands any wider. Mark, are you going to take it? Then just fucking get closer, Estelle. Just, just fucking do it, dude. Dude, let me show you a picture that this he's is my ex me. took with her new boyfriend. And they're in a tree holding hands. <laughs> And you're like, I don't know whose idea it is, but I know who would have shot that idea down, old Big Head Soder. She'd be like, well, you climb in the tree? I'm like, you climb in the tree, I'm going to kick you out of it. I'm going to oh shake God. that tree. By the way, her whole, the whole comment is in fucking Spanish. <laughs> yeah. Starting with El Sol, the sun. By the way, not doesn't speak Spanish. Of course not. Doesn't speak Spanish. But she was in Mexico with her boyfriend, so she That's fucking hilarious. She goes, Jay, surprise, surprise, not an academic. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's a hot girl Instagram move. Of course, it is. That's the a- sunbeams coming. Oh, the filtering of it was so important. I haven't used an Instagram filter look. once yet. I just keep hitting the word next until it says post. I'm like, what do I give a shit? Well, look, Jay, look at the other picture. Look at me in sepia. In sepia. <laughs> wow, what a clam. That is uh, so. You know what it is though. I, I'm so. It's confidence that I'm so impressed by that. Yeah. I'm just like, I don't want pictures of me at all yeah. in the world. Oh my god, Christine. And I know we have to avoid. I just said last night in such a moment of genuine, uh, just genuine soul bearing. I was like, I think I realized why radio is my favorite thing in the world. So I get to do with it my favorite thing in the world, which is try to be funny and talk to funny people. Yeah. And no one has to see me. That's the greatest. I realize, I'm like, I never even talk about why that being one of the reasons I love radio so much. But if you're an insecure person, this is fucking great. Oh, like, dude. What I love I'm is. in radio. Is it? You don't like being like senior. But, and like, and at the same time, like, it doesn't mean I don't, I love the live events and I love stand up comedy, like, more than anything, too. But just like, this takes out the only thing about stand up comedy I don't like is people <laughs> looking at me <laughs> at the same time. Yeah. Oh, God, this really bugs me. <laughs> 
Are oh, you really tearing through it? I know. Just what, it, but what's bugging you? You can't jerk off to it. No, no, no. Because it is look, Instagram. Because look at this. <laughs> Your ex is an Instagram hoe. Because it's it's like this kind of stuff. I know I would have been in that position had I stayed in that relationship. Really? You just would have done it? No, 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 no. That's why it didn't work. I'm saying like it would have either been me leave the relationship or stay in and do shit like that. Did you have a couple of these though? No, not one. No. No, I can honestly say not You weren't holding a purse. If Christine held her purse up for me to hold, I would just kick it. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, hold this. I'll go, you can put it down near me. I'll yeah. make sure no one, if someone takes it, I'll fight them like a man. Yeah. I'll man up and, and, and fight a motherfucker. Also, I've never asked you to hold my purse once. I don't think you have, yeah. But if you, if I, yeah, because I can't think of, I didn't even think about if you've ever asked me to hold your purse. I just started thinking about if I've ever kicked your purse before. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. If I've kicked your, and I'll be honest with you, there's a shot I've kicked your purse, even though you've never told me to hold it. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I ever did that, and I didn't. There were times where she just did hot girl stuff where I'd be like, oh, God she damn it. Squirt toothpaste on this and for me. Do you remember, <laughs> I mean, you guys, were, the, the classic story of when we were swimming. And I fucking pulled her underwater, and she, Dude, and she got was... out of the water. And we were all laughing, and then she got upset, and I was like, oh, "Do you know yeah, why yeah. I knew that was the beginning of the end? Why? One, you told me you were fighting the entire time leading up to that yeah. to that pool adventure. Yeah. Then when you got in the pool adventure, what I knew was over was because when you did that, like her berating you, like you never didn't see the funny in that. Oh yeah, I never like, stopped you laughing. You almost wanted to start making excuses for her to go. Like, well, why don't you go? Like, you know. Rinse your head out upstairs because yeah. so you, you want to just laugh with us about like, did you see me just fucking <sighs> pull you see her me, you see me water? waterboarder? What? So she grabbed, she, we were like, she was swimming under and I grabbed her ankles and I pulled her towards me like underwater and the water but like went a, up. But like in a get over here, you, but like, like just that little, but that, that little jerk just like, just took her under the water and just shot right up her nose. I mean, I saw it happen because I pulled her and I was like, that's a lot of water going the wrong way. <laughs> and she was like, came up and she's like, oh, I can't. I can't, can you give me a towel? And I was like laughing with Jane Christine. I was looking at him. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like you're like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because I was laughing as I was saying sorry. I'm like, I am so sorry. I'm sorry. We were uh, laughing in a way where we kind of thought she was going to join in. Yeah. At that point, though. Like, yes. We didn't, it didn't feel like we were laughing at her. It felt it like we were laughing because it was hilarious, but she did. She just did not think it was funny. Yeah. We were like, right? That's so we funny. Like, oh my God. That's hilarious. That happened. She, she was like. It's not funny. <laughs> yeah. She did not go along with it. She was so mad. And then I had to go up to my room and get scolded. <laughs> She's like, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can go to the concert. It's just like I'm really in pain right now. And you're like, okay, come on. I fucking pulled you underwater. Pain? I mean, yeah. She's like, I have sensitive sinuses. It was something like that. We were like... Oh, it's hilarious. I mean, it sucks if I do that to myself every time I go to the beach. Yeah. I always... I like getting the bugs out. pay somebody to waterboard her. <laughs> yeah. Um... This one makes a lot of sense to me. This next picture here, number nine on this, uh, and again, bon- at the Bonfire SXM, uh, you can see all of these. The girl- Here's where I get it. A guy who's taking a lot of time to get the perfect picture because he wants you to then in turn do that for him. Okay. This guy is muscular. He's got glamour tats. Yeah. He's got the wings and the star. He's got like uh, lightning bolts that go over his shoulder. He's got uh, like the Obey thing on his back. Like He's... And everything about him, he's wearing a tight bathing suit unnecessarily. Yeah, so he's probably Ooh. like, all right, you go, babe, and then I go. Yeah, what well, they didn't show here, the, 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 the photographer who sent us was a little bit of a dick to not show you. This is a good for the goose, good for the gander here. Yeah. This girl is also, I mean, look at the squat he's in to get the perfect <laughs> angle. But I promise you, that's not her going like, babe, can you get this? Can you please? He's going like, no, no. Let's, we're going to do this until we get it right. He goes, Now Cynthia. you turn your leg out more. Yeah, he goes, all right, bring your leg. All right, flex your right leg. Babe, your right leg. All right, your elbow up. Ready? One. Okay, yeah, no, we got that one. All right, and just turn your head a little. All right, a little to the left. And we got that one. This guy eats uh, fish on his cheat day. Yeah, he's like, oh, dude, I, was, I had salmon, <laughs> salmon skin on. Yeah, he's a... Like he has two charger tattoos on each shoulder blade. So this might be San Diego. Ew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's definitely the charger ball. San sure. Diego. Super chargers. Can you go to the next picture? Number 10. Oh, that's that same pose. No, what the fuck? Holding hand, you're taking a picture of you holding her hand as she leads you. It's so she can, oh, I thought it was so she can lean out, like the picture's going to be. How great would it be if they did a, like it's a crazy angle. If they did a lemming video of that, where the girl ran and the guy was holding her hands and she's jumped off a cliff and they both went. Uh, Yeah, that's like, uh, oh, page one of four, there's more of these? Oh, Oh, these sackless assholes, a girl laying in the leaves, that one's not bad. I don't think that's bad. 
Number 11. <laughs> oh, I love what Pootie. the fuck? He's reversing it? Reverse dunk? Laying on his back? Way, I love there's a score for each one of these. Now, here, now here's another one I understand. That guy's now, fucking go, up. Go up, go up. <laughs> yeah. Number 13 picture. Now, this I get. This girl, it would appear, at least from the picture, is way out of his league. This guy looks like a fucking uh, a tour guide through, like, fucking... In Louisiana. He looks not like... Not even. A- I look like some kind of South America. He's got to teach you to do Chile on a fucking... Uh, an old military jeep. He goes, the, uh, the locals have a term here currently. <laughs> uh, how do you say? La foto. La yeah. foto es eh, guapo. Eh, <laughs> beautiful people. You must always photograph them in order for you to get to the heart of the jungle. <laughs> but, uh, no, 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 stay. Um, and she's doing a flex the butt pose. Yeah, she's doing a crazy. But, but I mean, this guy, the way he squatted down. But this guy makes sense. This guy can't believe this girl's got naked in front of him. Yeah, he's like, man, this is kind of like when you got the bang or the Playboy not, model. Oh yeah. Or if it's not if it's not a boyfriend at all, then when she's done here, she is abusing her looks to get some fuckhead that wastes his time doing this. Yeah, it looks like the crocodile. Honey. You know, we talked about the War on Drugs concert, and I was like, man. And, and you, I think you concurred. Same thing. I was like, if those girls that were singing this to us <laughs> would have been like, he, I can't the phone, take a picture for him, and and didn't say like, could you please take a picture of us? And because these girls literally go like, here, take a picture, like yeah. like like do it. Yeah. If that would have come, probably even the like, would you take a picture? There's a strong chance. I would have just whipped that phone. But but if they just handed it to me with an air of like kind of like, take this picture for us real quick, I'd, that thing was going for a ride. This guy doesn't I look mean, like not it. even a no-brainer. And this guy... This guy doesn't look like that. This guy looks like he like went there and he's like, this would be a good place for your picture. You know what, man? I, if you wear khakis and sneakers, I don't know why I've judged something about your character already. I don't know I why that do bothers it. me. can never do it unless it's church. My stepfather does it. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it weird. That's I find it weird too. Can't do it. He's not a jeans guy. He no. wears like he wears khaki, but sneakers. Okay. With his, I don't know. But he's in the medical field, so maybe he's a, this guy here, honestly, got like Vietnamese tour guide <laughs> taking so you through the fucking taking you through the, the rice paddies. Yeah. It's like GI over here, for number fourteen. Oh, I can't really Sun's tell going that. down. Boyfriend's oh. trying to take a picture. Yeah, that one's a rough oh, one. She drags you out to a fucking a cliff. Wait, do I have one that she she did make me take one? Oh shit, she did, and I think I have it on my phone. This would be a good. One. We're, we're, we have to go to commercial here in like a no, minute. No, let me find it. Oh god, I think she did. Why don't we take a commercial and then we'll come back? I can tell you right now. I understand, but let let it be the cliffhanger. If it exists and you find it, we put it up tomorrow. Stop looking now. I don't want to put her picture up, though. Oh, shit. I don't want to do that. That's right. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, she's a decent person. I'm just, you know, pissing where I ate. Pissing where I ate? You're pissing in her vagina? Yeah. I have a picture, like an old picture of my mom standing in a field with her arms up. And in my head, I'm like, oh, the guy that took this picture just really, like, thought his girl was beautiful and wanted to get a picture of her. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if she was like, take a picture of me. Yeah, she absolutely Because I feel was. like there were, like, old pictures. Like, I feel like guys maybe once in a while are like, oh, my girl looks really pretty. I want to snap a picture. But now it's just, like, too persistent constantly. Yeah. I never think to just take a picture of you. I, my apologies. Mm-hmm. If that makes you feel no, like you're less than uh, special, that I don't ever want to just take pictures of you <laughs> randomly. I think it's such a weird thing. Yeah, if you're just like, let me take a picture of you right now. Oh, wait. No, here it is. Let me take a picture of you. Snap this. Oh, I'll take a I've taken a picture. Like, I took snapped a picture of you when you were sleeping one time because it was so cute. Ew. Weird. I said to Michelle. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that about? That's weird. That's not okay. <laughs> it's very weird. It's very, That's very, very weird. weird. Yeah, I'm gonna go hit Christine. <laughs> Let's take our break. Yeah, Jacob, yes. it's right. time. Let's take our break. We'll be right back, and then it's the time warp. Yeah, you're listening to the Lost episodes. It's the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Great. Great tune from a great dude into the great wide open, the great Tom Betty. <laughs> great. Oh, it's so great. Um, this video, I remember, yeah, Johnny Depp and Gabrielle Anwar. Is that yeah, the girl? Is that the girl? So. I don't know. Bye, Tom Petty. Bye. He's like, I left a long time ago. 
Yeah, it looks like he was always dying, though. He always looked up, like near death. And if I'm correct, we just read, picked up a heroin habit in his 40s. Good for him, dude. <laughs> he became a heroin addict around, right around, like, free fall. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's crazy that you, like, go into your 40s and you're like, then I'm going to do heroin. I feel like it's a real 20s or you, you missed it. Yeah. And you're supposed to be over by the 40s when everyone's kicking. You're just going like, oh, guys, you were right. This is pretty great. Because <laughs> I don't mean to go back 15 years. Remember when we lost Doug? But he was right. <laughs> Remember we lost Doug? I feel great about everything. <laughs> um, is that Gabrielle Anwar? Are we looking up? Christine? Christine's going so deep. It is on- her? Yeah. Nailed it. Um, Christine's going deep on our next topic, which is the annual slut walk happened. So exciting. Yeah. So exciting. uh, We, were we going to go this year? Did we talk that shit? We probably talked that shit. I don't think we are obviously we I, I, I may have been there for it. I should have went. <laughs> well, Lou, too. I thought maybe, you know what? I, in my mind, I swear to you, I thought I didn't hear anything about it. So probably yeah. this horse shit is over. They're like, I'm a proud slut nonsense. Yeah. I thought maybe that was over. I, thought, thought, we were, just... I thought we were back to full blown slut shaming the way I had dreamed. But no. Like an old know. Pentecostal preacher. Yeah, I was like, hoping. I thought we were getting right back. Woman. I thought we were getting right back in the slut shaming. I would say if anyone knows anything about you, you glorify sluts. I oh, think, yeah. Yeah. You're sluts. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, come on down to Jay Okerson's slut compound. Why would why would Mike Finoy be calling me? He knows when we do a show. Because he's trying to break us up, dude. He wants my sh- he wants my chair. You think he wants in? <laughs> he wants my chair. You think he wants? Listen in back, bro. Why does he always cut me off when I'm making a sweet sweet joke? <laughs> yeah. I think he's he's coming for the, he's coming for my back, dude. He's coming for you. That's right. He's trying to lowball. Yeah. He's trying to fucking undercut. You. I never turn my back on Mike Finoy. Watch. <laughs> watch, watch when I'm around. Oh, I keep my eyes open. Oh, the amigo stuff is just glazing on. <laughs> <our cake. laughs> um, but yeah, the Amber Rose uh, slut walk happened. But then Lou too was schooling us. Oh no! Oh no! Everything bad happened there. There's a there's a missing piece now. <laughs> Did stuff leak out? Ah! No, 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 right? No, we're cool. Oh, okay, just we lost a piece. Yeah, that's fine. I dropped a thing. No. I dropped Soda's vape. I'm really sorry. You're so angry at me. I hate you! You're so sore with me right now. Did you find it? Make sure it works I don't want to talk to you the rest of this radio show. <laughs> Jacob, I'll how be in a are corner. you doing? <laughs> Jacob, you know what? We're going to talk about this. You know what? Maybe Fenoya is time for Fenoya's stand-up. <laughs> Maybe he's coming for me the whole time. Yeah. Uh, Lou, too, is telling us 21 Savage so pussy. I can't with- until you make sure that works. Why? You're fine. It's going to bother me until I know it works. Hey, baby boy. Shh. I don't like this. I don't like breaking your things. Hey. Let me see. Let me see smoke come out. Okay. (laughs) It's all right. Wow. Who is that? Black China. Yeah. Uh, Wait. Oh, she came ready to party. Yeah. She showed up. I mean, they really did sign the fucking, they gave the sign for all the biggest hoes to meet up, like Mm -hmm. like super friends. Mm Mm-hmm. It was the same day as the Some kid. chick blowing a dude in an alley. <laughs> I have to go. We're all meeting. <laughs> the gathering of the sluts is upon us. The great cock feeding of 2018 will happen. They said it would come two months after the solar eclipse. And the eclipse brings the gobblers of cock. <laughs> and puss. Cock and puss. Black child. I mean, of course, who shows up for the slut walk? Of course, like America's most famous sluts. I the, mean, like. Well, she had the biggest hit this year on getting Rob Kardashian to melt down. Oh, yeah. And then just starts sending pictures of her pussy and she's like, all, that's fine. She goes, yeah, cool. She wins money for that. Ah, that's a whole cool. bunch of money for that. And she was also like, I don't care, though. I mean, what a like stumbling She's over like, I'm a stripper. Own. She's like, shut my pussy away. She made so much more money yeah. by f- suing him for libel. That's a, that's that. a credit that's in their world. Oh, it's so You've great. seen this pussy on TMZ. <laughs> I mean, how many times have we seen Amber Rose's pussy? A whole bunch. It's yeah. great. whole bunch. Well, let's see a whole bunch. But Lou, uh, this pussy, that pussy. Uh, why was? But Lou too was telling us that Twenty One Savage just basically. Do you think he gave up his music career for her? I don't think he gave up his music career. He definitely gave up his street credibility. What did he have? A lot of street. I mean, yeah, he has great songs. He's got songs with Drake where he's talking about. You know, they all talk about getting bitches and all that. Yeah. But he just. He got whipped really bad, really bad, and it's very evident from the videos that you watch. Is his, so is you, his music fucking pretty gangster normally? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. He's doing songs with Future, doing songs with Drake. Yeah, you know, yeah. talking about. Let's hear some uh, Twenty One Savage. Do we you got some? Uh, the song "Sneaking." 
I almost want to see a video of him. Yeah, doing it. I want to see. I want to yeah, see how, then then how he portrays yeah. himself. Because that's where you, if you're when you're making the music video, that's when you snarl and punch at the camera. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's yeah. made a fake music video in their bathroom. Maybe you're swinging a baseball bat that's covered with flames. Oh, what? In a very controlled fire environment, yes, <laughs> of course, with a guy who knows what he's doing. Oh, it's the Idris Elba. Film. I was gonna say this is a pretty crazy video. Is there a bobcat attacking Did people get, in the snow? <laughs> Kate Winslet for this video. <laughs> oh, this is a featuring Twenty One Savage. Yes, but his verse is in the middle, and it's it's pretty hard verse. Yeah. Hi, oh, Drake. Oh, good. Should I go to him? Please. Yes. Niggas keep. Let me call my bro. Baby, I'm a savage, I ain't romantic. Oh, well, there it is. Hold yeah, on. Baby, I'm a savage, I ain't romantic. Well, That's first sentence. Sir, you just condemned yourself with the first <laughs> sentence. That is hilarious. This comes out, he goes, What I ain't is definitely no dude that'll treat a nice lady. <laughs> his, his, his first Homeboy is, ain't even pull a chair out. Uh, he goes, I slap a bitch, she tell me call her by her first name. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your purse, buck, buck, two in the head. <laughs> you a stupid slut, buck. Buck. <laughs> it's a total... I don't like sluts. I hate big butts. <laughs> black, black, black. If you bald, I'm gonna think you have cancer. <laughs> bald bitch did a ticket across the parkway. <laughs> this is what he literally done. I hate walking. Uh, I hate sluts. Oh, fun. Versus... I hate bald bitches. Fun. I hate butts. Ah. Uh, Put a picture up on Instagram and I cut you. <laughs> yeah. Instagram hoes make my stomach hurt. Uh, let's keep playing this verse. Yo, go back to that line too. When I come around, these rappers niggas start to panic. I mean, like it's really, uh, it's pretty aggressive. They're panicked because my girlfriend's gonna come and she doesn't take any yeah. shit. <laughs> and mother is hardcore. They pan <laughs> nigga start to panic because I'm she's right behind me and she is coming in hot. <laughs> You better watch it. Everyone's getting their dick sucked and their nuts bit off. Yeah. Oh, man. It's crazy. You better not call her a slut. Don't tell her she looks good or bad. I don't know what to say to these bitches anymore. She's got two speeds. <laughs> I try to stay in between the two. I don't know what to say to these hoes anymore. You look good. You look bad. You look fine. You don't look like nothing. I don't even sleep at night. <laughs> I don't even see if you're, how, how do I address this how do I address this motherfucker in the morning yeah, you're good. <laughs> I stay up in a total panic fan. one day she's proud to be a whore next day she's a proud black woman. I don't know what's going on yeah <laughs> when I come around these rapper niggas start to panic oh, and they pack oh wait hold on <laughs> cheap shots on some cheap uh, he won't spend a dime I don't know <laughs> I don't know 21 Savage <laughs> if I watch a video next are you gonna be spending a dime <laughs> yeah it's pit play I'm doing all the parts We the ones. 21. We the ones dropping niggas. We the ones. We the ones. I'm just distracted with how fun this party looks. 21. 21. Is anyone else just distracted with how fun? They're all just these big butt women just in a hot tub. Everyone's drinking. Oh, drinking something out of a styrofoam cup. It's ah, probably some concoction of flu medicine and booze. <laughs> oh, the best. Whatever the fucking mayonnaise sandwich is of the hip hop <laughs> booze community. <laughs> Everyone's just hugging all politely. <laughs> oh, this right here, Tang and Tangaray. Oh, this right here. When when the ones ducking when the heaters come, I mean that's really it is pretty tough talk for a guy who's well, let's see known next. only now for so now we know what is holding pinkies like. down the street with Amber Rose. <laughs> now let's see. Now let's see the twenty one savage. Egg. Oh, he's the Reaper. I mean, he does have a tattoo in the middle of his forehead. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a cross, which does take away some of the scary. So this is, uh, it doesn't look comfortable. I super love Jesus. Amber Rose got 21 Savage out here in this, oh, this is from uh, World Star. So this is, a, so, wait, you should say first, should we show, wait, hang on. Show the other thing first, Lutu? About we, him we saying. Should, you gotta lead us through here. We should show the one with them in the car. Right here. No, no, no. This no, one? There. Yes. That's, okay. that's one of the first ones that popped up where people were questioning him. Like, like really? He's so into her. Yeah. Like, too, he's giving her too much. Way too much. Wait, oh man, when you're excited about a girl, uh, and you're just saying crazy shit. It. He's going, yo, 22 Savage, I'm just telling you, man. Dude. Hey, what's up, 21 Savage? No, I gotta talk to you, son. Oh, man, you ever feel that feeling like you're floating? I don't, I don't know, know, man. I feel all bubbly. It's weird. I mean, I just like kiss a body, and I'm like, is this what heaven tastes like? Hang on a second, people walking by. What's up, baller? What's oh, up, yeah. player? Hey. Y'all got some beef? Y'all hey. got some gripes? Better take them eyes off me. Oh, man. Anyways. All right, that's what I thought. Keep walking, motherfucker. I, just, I kiss her. I watch her sleep. And I just kiss her while she's sleeping, and I'm like, I'm just an angel. When I see her, I just think, Mwah. 
I go, I go, I really look at myself, I go, how did I, <laughs> a 21 Savage, get an Amber Rose. <laughs> I love you, so you too, you too good for me, baby girl. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and then people heard that I mean I've done that that's not Olivia Newton John I got excited I remember when I was dating uh, one of my exes uh, I like <laughs> the song is like I honestly love you is that what this is right yeah. I love you I honestly love you I remember Michael Ch- Michael Che and I were hanging out and I was like I tried to like be like get him on board by being like yeah we quote Step Brothers and he looked at me I was so it was such a whip sentence like mm-hmm. out of my mouth I'm like oh we love that movie and we quote it and he was like what <laughs> and I was like oh fuck it's we like, quote yeah, Step Brothers yeah, together yeah, yeah. You're like, you know when you're so excited and you say it dude I felt awful about that for three months turn this up Lou this is Dan swinging around his living room <laughs> This is 21 Savage. 21 Savage. He goes, he goes, oh, that bald head just does something. I don't know. Thank you, Kanye, for giving me my angel. Oh. Thank you guys for working her over where she's coming down the pike a little bit to someone like me. It's like finding the perfect glove at a garage sale. <laughs> Let's see the video where he's just... I mean, this really... I mean, Kanye West at 21 Savage, that really is like... It is moving backwards, quite honestly. She's holding on, though. You know what? She's staying with guys with contracts. Good she is her. holding on, I guess, but that really is... I mean, like, am I crazy to say it's like at one point you were fucking like Robert De Niro and now you're fucking like the guy who played Monroe on Too Close for Comfort? <laughs> <laughs> Jim J. Bullock, I believe that was, who was a gay man. <laughs> uh, my stepdad, uh, my dad's Robert Monroe. <laughs> yeah, my stepdad's a uh, gay guy, Jim John. Um, <laughs> that's my video. My stepfather is Jim J. Bullock. Yeah. You know, that's like how crazy it is, like, how the world don't really know, like, how good of a person you are, like, how you love him and you like him. Dude, pause this. I want to make sure the people... It took me a second to focus in on what I'm supposed to be hearing here. First off, her, her sounds, roof and her like car looks like stars. Oh, yeah. I love it. It sounds like the radio. Well, that's the back of a limo, I think, or something. No, she's driving. Is she? Yeah, that's a very expensive car. In another country? I don't know. That's The video's flipped. It's mirrored. Oh, okay, okay. She's actually... Yeah. Dude, what this is, is bad. Are you hearing him at all? <laughs> no. You're not hearing him. I just heard you go sunk into How much song. I love you? No, 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 no. So yes, I'm gonna, well, we'll start from the beginning again because this is important. It sounds like the radio is playing, but that's him. It's just a terrible audio recording. So okay. you have to listen. If you're listening at home or in your car, turn the volume up and listen hard. What I call is him. He goes. First of all, you see his hand <laughs> doing a gentle <laughs> touch on the shoulder, on the shoulder, and he goes. Uh, and he, <laughs> this song is so great. He goes, it's just that it's crazy to me that people don't even know, like, how good of a great person you are. That's so great. <laughs> Dude, I mean. How you're funny, you're smart. I mean, he's laying I wish that. you could write my entrance exams so, or everything. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, can you write my essay, baby uh, girl? Sometimes I look up and I think she is a philanthropist. Uh this bitch don't let no sluts walk alone. <laughs> um, so t- start it over and turn it up with no no music behind it, and just listen. Hey. Yes. You know that's like how crazy it is, like how the world don't really know, like how good of a person you are, like how you love him and you like nurture your people. You nurture your people, yo. You be like nurture people and shit. That's with the heater. Is that the full video? Pull out the. He- and there's no way it's the full video. No. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, this guy is going to film himself. I mean, oh, literally. No. I like, feel he bad might as well, you, you know, he should be taking, you know, toenail scissors. Yeah. He should be cutting his own dick off with that. <laughs> <laughs> with little nips. Little nicks. Scow. Oh, oh, baby girl. Scow, oh, baby girl. Oh, 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 that was a tendon right there. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh this one's oh, going to be baby. a bit of a squirt. Oh, baby, that's oh. blue blood. Oh, oh, oh girl. Get a towel. You should have tied off first, man. Maybe oh. get a tourniquet going. I might have to thing. I'm going to see her this thing shut. Can you put a four? On the stove. Oh, people don't oh. even know. You like black flowers, not and gay and shit. I feel like you <laughs> nurture and fly. Yo, you nurture people. We're just making them Cleveland. You care, yo, you care about the homeless and shit. <laughs> 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 I really don't know, like, how you put everybody before you and you, like, you know, you make, make sure everybody else good. Thank you, baby. <laughs> 
By the way, she's, oh. she's, really, she's really good like that. Can I, can I okay, say honey, my favorite? Okay, honey, but we, we have to go. Do you know where we make the turn? That's <laughs> my favorite thing ever. Is she just did that. She was just looking to take a left turn while she's driving, and he's like, I think you <laughs> my soul blanket, and you make me feel better. She goes, <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> she goes, am I good on the left? <laughs> That's great. That's great, baby. Can you tell me what's going on out there? Can I turn left? Goes, Is it clear? She goes, <laughs> yeah, hey, 21 Savage, can you look to your right? Am I good over there? <laughs> am I good over there? Am I good over there? <laughs> Oh, baby, uh, you so sweet. Hey, am I close enough to the curb? Or do I got to wheel this bitch in again? I feel like every time I, I die and I'm born again with you. You, know, you help people. You nurture. You out there putting other people before you. That's what he said. These are all quotes. You put other people before you. You be you turning. <laughs> you never cross the double yellow lines. It's all driving you obey, out again. You, all, you always park at least 25 feet. I you know see what? you even do the heel to toe walk to make sure uh, you're 25 feet from a hydrant. I wish people knew you stayed 10 and 2. You <laughs> always. <laughs> 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 I always. wish I could tell everybody that you pay your taxes quarterly. And you always buckled up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you rake even after it just falls a little bit. You keep yard maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> your yard maintenance is off the cheesy. Uh, also... <laughs> Yo, oh. you bought me that steamer for my birthday, so I ain't got an eye in my shit no more. All right, let's watch the re- let's watch the end of this because I don't want to watch him just. Oh God, damn! This guy really did it to himself, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, God, he goes, God. "You beautiful even when you ain't trying to be." You know, sometimes I watch you take a dookie. <laughs> and your face cute as hell. Even your doo doo smell fine. Ah, uh, the fucker. next one's him at the walk. At the sl- that there. Oh man, that's gotta hurt because it's like a hot day and you're out doing girlfriend stuff, which already sucks because you're in out of your public house. view. Your girlfriend's just like a superhero with her tits out. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Also, oh. yeah, you would be able to relate to that more than anybody else in this room, though. I <laughs> fucking hate that. I'm gonna uh, dress like a superhero. <laughs> yeah, you're like, okay. You, what you do first is you go. You re- are you. You really gonna do that? Yeah. <laughs> that's my. That's not a way to start a good day. Yeah. for sure. You're gonna wear a you gonna do superhero that? costume, huh? I go. Uh, that's the slut walk. Don't you feel like it's like too hot? You should probably put on some comfortable shoes, though, right? Like I don't want you to twist your ankle, maybe not dress up. Well, you know, if those shoes don't go with that outfit. So you might even change the whole stupid outfit. <laughs> God, you know what? I really feel like this is a casual march. I feel like you should wear jeans and a t-shirt. You know what? Can you just throw jeans and a t-shirt over the superhero thing? Oh. Worst case scenario, you get yeah. there, you think it's not a good idea to be dressed like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, and you're good. And then we don't have to go home. Like, like, can you carry my bag full of my other clothes? You know I will, baby. You know I love you, baby. <laughs> you Give know me some I love sugar. You. More than stars. So moons. she's dressed up like a superhero, and he's wearing a. Uh, I mean, he looks like a dildo, man. He's he really. Oh, he's wearing like the. He's wearing like the the tank top of like a Dominican immigrant. Well, you know, like young rappers are always terrifying, and then you see him in a different context. Like he's like a one where he's like, "I kill you, I shoot it, I fill up graves." Dude, most of them, and then are he's on the corner, artists. and you're like, yeah. "Dude, you're a tall, skinny kid. You look like an AAU basketball player." Yeah, they've called. Uh, they've. 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 they've there are a lot of people have done that. Like people who don't buy into it, like real thuggy, fucking like, you know, ridiculous gang member like kids. Yeah. We'll go after rappers sometimes, like just to really? see and, and film the rappers getting. Oh, there's plenty of footage of rappers Dude. being like getting like terrified because they don't they don't live in that world yeah. for real. Yeah, like, yeah, not, yeah, you know what I mean? Like they're artists. So, listen, Fifty Cent was probably a less artist than he was uh, like bad person at a time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was funny when they when when Fifty Cent came out and then they like all the stuff that he did. He's like he sold crack and you're like okay, we kind of let it slide with Biggie, but still I think that's bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to ruin all the fun here, but I think it's bad for your community. You probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, shot nine times. You're not hanging out with good people. But let's watch the video. Of well, like 20- Drake is a guy kid who like you know took He's pictures. An actor. Took pictures with a sweater every year of his life. I bet. 
Yeah, took pictures in a sweater. <laughs> there definitely was a time where Drake was like, I like sailing better than skiing. Yes. <laughs> Abso-fucking-lutely. <laughs> That's the whole, yeah. But he's a great, you know, he's, he's good at what he President Obama, and he goes, Drizzy. Yeah. <laughs> Drizzy, as they pass each other in an airplane. So he's standing, oh man, yeah, that's got to save a house. Captain, oh. uh, he, he looks not happy, oh. man. Jesus. He's like, so I guess I'll hold your son. Oh, look, and she's like, clearly like, knows everybody. She's like, oh, you do. Hi. Look at that face on it. He is really just like, what is this? What oh. am I doing? Oh, God. What the Christ am oh. I doing? Because he's still a kid, right? How old is he, Lutu? Actually, I'm not sure. I'll look it up right now. Yeah. But why would you want this? That, that so here's, uh, what's her age he, difference? Because that's some like older lady entrapment pussy, where she's just fucking him so well that he's like, "Yeah, this is what you do for this." By the way, we're gonna watch this next video here. Twenty seven. He's seconds. twenty four, and how old is she? She's like thirty five. Ah, oh, yeah. Good for twenty one savage. Just getting whipped by an older lady. She's thirty three. Oh, really? Now here's the thing. That's After funny. this video, which Sorry. we're gonna watch, and we're gonna this is gonna be uh, again, which this is appalling. Yeah. Uh, there's a video in the recommended videos. This fucking says Amber Rose says she twerks for her son to cheer him up. So that we have to watch that. <laughs> we have to watch that right now. Maybe we'll go into that first. Ah, we'll let's go do back. the yeah. Oh, uh, it's off. NBC took it down. Damn, Look it up sucks. on Google, Christine, because you can probably find it. Um, but which one it? But this next video. What, what's so annoying about this? And you've seen this one too, Lou, too, right? Um. If you're gonna so so Twenty One Savage is wildly aware. Is obviously Amber Rose is here. That people are saying like, man, what a whipped pussy dude. <laughs> yeah. and well, that's what he is. It's I not know, like I it's... know, I know. But the argument is that he's not. He's making the argument that he's not. But again, look at you, even like the thumbnail of the video, the freeze screen is like. So it's like, can you believe people are saying that uh, that I'm your little bitch, baby? And she says, I know. I'm gonna go yell at motherfuckers right now. He's like, oh, I'll sit behind you, all weird. Let's watch. Have you seen this? Um, yes, I've seen this one. Lou, too, you've seen it? I have seen it. And just can I say, please look at his facial expressions. Yeah. Okay. That's all. All right. I haven't watched this yet. How the fuck is my man not a savage anymore? Like, do y'all want him to pistol with me, beat me up, shoot up the slut walk? Like, what the fuck do y'all want? Y'all need to get off a nigga dick. Oh, is that good, baby? Oh, he did the same eyes that oh, catch me no. outside. Then he goes, oh, no. y'all need to get off a nigga dick. Is that, is that good, baby? Is that good, baby? Ah, dude, he did. He looked right to her. He checked with her first, like, I did. Am I, is this the way I go down? She goes, you ain't going to make me give back my gold teeth, is you? He goes, oh. <laughs> he goes you ain't going to fuck up a, a bigger motherfucker with more chest. Oh, my God. Jesus, these guys are fucking concave chest. Is that the new thing in the hood? <laughs> is to have a concave chest? That's how you get it filled in with tattoos? I mean, fucking 50 Cent was a gigantic thing. I mean, if this one bullet would hit this kid nine times, oh, it's <laughs> it, would, yeah. it would ping pong around his fucking bones. Yeah. Everyone's got scarecrow bro- bodies. Well, and, and, all, and they all talk shit about kicking it. It's so weird, man. Look at those sh- I mean, I bet, you know, I bet he can fight. Shut up. No, he can't. You don't think so? No. Well, why is he fucking, why is he on his knees sucking the clit so hard? I don't know, but let's see. He's playing with their fucking cooch lips like they're nuts. <laughs> My bitch deep too. Slut while I was fun as a motherfucker. Really? Oh, man, it was rides and shit. Wait, go back, because I didn't, and let's just watch it all the way through, because I didn't know, he was oh, yeah. like just looking to her, right? How the fuck is my man not a savage anymore? Like, do y'all want him to pistol with me, beat me up, shoot up the slut walk? Like, what the fuck do y'all want? Y'all need to get off nigga dick. Get off my dick. Get off your bitch dick, too. Yeah, get off my bitch dick, too. Oh. Slut while I was fun as a motherfucker. Oh, buddy. Uh, two years from now, you'll be really regretting this video. Damn, but man. it'll be okay. That is it. Oh, man. Oh, boy. He's going to have to talk about at some I mean, point after this, he's going to have to answer for this. That at some it, point. I, I want to believe in love, and I want to say that he'll be in this love forever. It's also, but though, I just want to say that there will be a crashing moment where he's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I remember she made me Insta story. Oh, my neutering. <laughs> yeah, but he's going like he's going to look back I, on it, and it's just all going to be there. Like you can't go back. Well, I'll tell that. you this: he's got to avoid any kind of rap beef for the rest of his career. I hate to say because this is if anybody has any fucking Google skills. If he was to sell any albums, he's going to have to fucking kill a guy. 
I just to get back crazy. <laughs> just to fucking uh yeah, just to to make it even. I, I mean what else? I mean, gee, that is really bad. He goes, get off my dick. Goes, and tell him your bitch's dick, too. He goes, yeah, my bitch <laughs> dick, too. Uh, slut walk. Did you Man, not? it was fun. I caught candy. Amber bought me a lemonade. Uh, they got a candy apple. What, baby? Caramel apple. I get confused. She correct me some time. I thought it was candy apple. It was caramel apple. That's some white people shit right there. What? Sorry. White people cool than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is her on I believe so this is when I googled the twerks to cheer up her son this is the interview that came up so I think this is it yesterday to talk about everything from her new line of emojis to her new show with Dr. Phil yeah. what can we expect from the Amber Rose show well um, it's very sex positive oh, if you don't know what Rose sex is. positive means that means it's just uh a no judgment zone. We talk about everything. Um, I'm a extremist feminist. I like to call myself. So um, it's just fun, you know. And then she spoke about the special relationship she shares with her kid. She's like, do your little booty shaking thing. So I did it one day and my son was right there and he fell on the floor, like cracked up laughing, like just crying laughing. And so now I twerk for him all the time. That's he great. It. Yeah. He is going to grow up just fighting everybody. Whose kid is that? Wiz Khalifa's kid. Yeah. How can you be so? Uh, listen again. My ego is there. To but, yeah, but how mom... can you be so hung up on a fucking chick that is so publicly fucked everyone else in your field? If you go to any award show, <laughs> yeah, you can fucking smell her puss on the fucking fifty-five feet of five black guy dick. <laughs> yeah, but do when you just walk in and you go, "Is that that's your ex? Oh god, that's your ex. Oh god, nonstop. Everyone. Oh, there's the one put a baby in you. Oh, there's the one you had an abortion with. <laughs> oh, there's the one you let fuck with that one. You think fucking the Migos took her duck water tight at any point? <laughs> Duck water tight. <laughs> you think the Migos made her duck water tight? Yeah, it's hard to That's agree. butthole cooch mouth. Oh, uh, dude. And then, but the thing is, is also, it's hard enough you get bullied about your mom when she's not famous. It's like, I fucked your mom or whatever. But if this video, this video is going to leak in someone at his private I, school, yeah. he's not going to, he's going to a private school. Her son's going to go to a private school where there's going to be mean, blonde haired white kids that before they shoot a school up, do all their inter internet research and find this. Oh, absolutely. But I mean, also like, she go works to, to cheer for son. Like, when is that going to become a thing where the son's going to be like, uh, all his son's friends are going to be like, hey, can you go? You better go home and tell your mom you're fucking sad today, man. We're coming over and tell her you're really sad. Or they're 12. Yeah. They're like, hey, uh, I'm going to wear sweats over to your house. You. Can your mom cheer me up? Goes, oh, man. And then she's like, you feeling better, baby? <laughs> she, goes, she goes, oh, this is nature's chicken soup right here. Black <laughs> Oh, this is like a riff from oh. and right oh. to the down oh. piece. Oh, baby. Give some of your friends your ones. <laughs> when he's really... There's house funny money. <laughs> they also got the shit. It's got her the, picture on it. got the monopoly money. And they're just fucking making it rain on her in her living room to make her feel better. That's her kid's birthday party. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, you, you guys having a clown or are you having like a giant door of the Explorer show? Because now nah, my mom's going to booty shake it out by the yeah. pool. Oh, a pool party at that kid's... Oh, man. Nurturing, caring. They can't wait. Wiz Khalifa holding a fucking diaper bag. I mean, she has bitchified every guy she's ever been with, it appears Good like. Good for her. Good for her. I guess so, Good man. for you, mother. Yo, mother. Good for you. That show's over, though, huh? That didn't last. Yeah, Dr. Phil pulled it. Did he? He, he was, pulled it. Well, he was the executive producer, right? And he pulled it? He goes, I just don't feel. <laughs> I thought your puss was going to do more work. She, and he realized that four of her homeboys, which was their title, were on the show. I, Why are we paying your quote unquote his, homeboys? He, he calls her. He goes, Amber, can you pick up the handset? <laughs> I'm looking at the budget here. It says you got four guys on payroll, and I don't even know what the hell they do. <laughs> One's my expert in fabulous. <laughs> my expert oh, my homeboy Jason <laughs> my homeboy Jason this one watch my boyfriend who watched my purse and this <laughs> it's my babysitter he can twerk too so kids <laughs> he never twerk upset. too kids are never sad he twerk his name Nelson oh that's Black China he, he named Nelson he fabulous we're gonna have to get more in the I mean that's walk. a fake butt right 
I don't know. Maybe. But I think it's a big fat butt, actually. We have to get, uh, we have to dig more in the slut walk itself. <laughs> oh, we have we, to go. Oh, there is 21 Savage. We have to go now, but we have to dig more in the slut walk, I think, next week. What do you think? I mean, I mean, there's so much more of slut walk stuff. The interviews and oh, stuff that were there. Her 21 son, sweet cheeks to his first day of school. Me and you, Lou, oh, too. People are shitting on him. Me and you, Lou, too. This weekend, we'll figure out uh, some great moments of slut walk to talk about next week. That'll be fun. Oh, God. Um, you can see Amber Rose doing this and being gross as shit all over I the internet. She's hot. I'll tell you where you can see Jake Dan Soder. Jacob doesn't think she's hot. I think that's crazy. That's bonkers. That is Jacob. We'll fix that. It's not bonkers. No, it's not bonkers. You know what is bonkers? She's going to bitch out this guy. Whoa. <laughs> Jacob <laughs> says, bring it on, Amber Rose. What if Amber Rose started dating Jacob and he just got bitchified? Jacob's, like, never I'm tw- Jacob's like, I'm 43, Savage. And we just I, fuck his world up. I can't do the pre record because Amber wants me to go down <laughs> with her. <laughs> Big J's going to be at Good Nights this Thursday. That's tonight through Saturday. Uh, and then he's going to be at the Funny Bone in Columbus. Ohio, October 19th through the 21st. You can get tickets for both those, whether you be in North Carolina or Ohio, at BigJComedy.com. Yes, indeed. Fenoy's going to be with me in, uh, Ooh, boy. in Columbus. He's coming for you. Yeah, he's coming for us. Dan Soda, of course, is going to be tonight, starting tonight, through Saturday, at the American Comedy Company in San Diego. That's right, San Diego. Dan flew all the way out there, so you come fucking see him. He is hilarious. And after that, he's bringing all that funny to Laughs Boston, October 19th through October 21st. Get your tickets for that and all of his shows at DanSoder.com. And check out Dan's half-hour special as part of the stand-ups available right now on Netflix. Follow us, as always, at The Bonfire, SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, For the whole gang, what a fun week. Fun week. See you guys on Monday. Crackle, crackle.